I find that often women who come to class, if they've been given a firearm, had a friend or a spouse buy them a firearm, it is not always the best firearm for them. I don't believe that there is such a thing as a female-friendly firearm. I believe that there are firearms that are better suited for different skills, different activities, and different hand sizes. Are you gonna purchase a firearm to keep in your home for self-defense? Do you want to eventually conceal carry one day? Or are you just getting a gun so you can go to the range and shoot recreationally? Your type of firearm that you would end up purchasing are gonna be vastly different depending on what your purpose and use is gonna be for that gun. Working for the NRA, we have access to a lot of guns, so, I put the feelers out and asked a handful of people if they wanted to come in and take the NRA basic pistol class and then shoot a bunch of guns that I had been reading about for some years that were purported or touted to be female friendly, whatever that meant. I am not aware of any other platform or any other group of people that bring such a large variety of women with different backgrounds and different skill levels all together to shoot the same amount of firearms. What an amazing opportunity, not only for us to learn about what's marketed and what is actually appreciated by the women who are shooting these guns, but getting so many women, 35 women, out there in an environment that's set up for them to be successful to figure out what they would like shooting. So I think this was the most beneficial ladies project that I've seen out there yet. When you pull the slide back, you're gonna immediately engage that external thumb safety. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.